Hi, I'm Michael Swain. I'm a senior research fellow at the Quincy Institute for Responsible Statecraft, uh, working in the East Asia program. Before joining Quincy, I was nearly 20 years a senior fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. And before that, I worked at the RAND Corporation, all during which I uh, studied primarily China-related security topics of various types. So if we step back and look at the overall U.S. approach to China, um, the U.S. leadership talks a lot about pursuing competition uh, rather than conflict with regards to China. Uh, and it also talks about cooperating uh, where we can. In general, I think this is the right approach. You do want to have an approach to China that recognizes that there are areas where the two sides are going to compete. There's going to be competition. It doesn't have to be zero sum competition in every case. It doesn't have to be um, a, an intense level of competition that really blurs over into confrontation, if not crisis or conflict, of course. You don't want that. You want a constructive form of competition. You want something that avoids the most worst case outcomes in both areas. That's why I think it's wrong for the United States to talk about winning the competition with China. Nobody's going to win the competition. It's going to be an ongoing, open-ended process of the two sides competing with each other. And the best way to compete with each other is by strengthening each other's capabilities. Um, the United States really needs to strengthen itself and not focus so much on undermining the Chinese, which they have done, which the administration has done in its recent actions um, and the uh, Congress has done in its recent actions regarding high tech for China, where it seems often that the purpose of the U.S. government is not just to prevent China from acquiring high tech capabilities of relevance to military or national security, but to prevent China from becoming a high tech nation at all. And the second thing is you have to have a genuine desire to try to establish a stable basis for cooperation between the two sides, to work together in areas where they have common interests. And there are many critical issues over which the two countries must cooperate. And we're just not engaging each other on this. We're not having substantive talks on this. And that is really what is necessary. The administration places far more stress on competition and in many ways, zero sum competition than it does on cooperation. And that really needs to change. 